Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts, Season 3, Episode 1. Uh, yeah, we're finally back with this, um, decided to put Doom Patrol on hold for a bit, and finally get to the third and final season of Kipo. Um, so last we left off, Scarlemagne was caught and defeated, Amelia is the new true villain who's behind literally everything and we had Kipo learning to control her jaguar transformation learning how to come back out of it with the help from her friends and the song heroes on fire as well as the promise to eventually return uh song Kipo's mother back to her human form so that she's no longer the mega monkey um it was a great huge finale that really just went insane it, it was really damn good um and so we go from one villain scarlamane who was a mute supremacist uh due to the treatment he received as well as the treatment he saw other mutes receiving to a human supremacist with Amelia who believes that mutes need to re be returned to their animalistic selves and that humans are the superior species yada yada all of that jazz except Amelia seems to take it a little further she seems to be just a little more extreme and aggressive about it than even Scarlemagne was. Um, and maybe that's just because we did see Scarlemagne show a propensity for redemption. Um, just when learning about his past and his connection to Kibo's parents and everything. Um, and even his interactions with Kibo herself. I don't think Amelia is going to be as redeemable. I, I just don't. Um... She seemed like she was bad, even in the flashbacks from the start. Again, she kind of caused everything, if we're being honest. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see where this goes in the new fight. And during all of this, we've gotten a lot of other character developments and growths and whatnot continuing on. And I'm hoping we get to see how all of that satisfyingly concludes here. I don't know how this last season is going to go, but I'm excited. Um, you almost kind of want to say it, it sucks that it's only three seasons, but at the same time, this show very much feels like it was only meant to be a few seasons. Like, th this very much feels like a finite experience. Um, and I feel like... I, I feel like it's probably going to be satisfying in that regard. Some shows will work better having longer runs. And some should definitely end before they get too long. Some shows work better just having shorter runs and end up going longer anyways. Um, but I, I think a series having a finite amount of episodes is what is honestly best for it. Because rather than trying to force in more seasons just to make money or whatnot, um, it allows for it to have a complete story arc within there. And while you could wish there was more and, like, wonder about what could happen after all of that and everything, I just, I don't think it's entirely necessary. Gravity Falls, for example, 
since I've been watching it again recently due to a bunch of reactors getting into it uh, lately, just this huge resurgence. Um, Gravity Falls is only two seasons. That's it. And that's all it needs. It doesn't need more. It didn't need a movie or any kind of specials or anything. It was two seasons, and that's all it needed to do. It got its story fully across. It didn't extend things to an unbelievable level. And it, it handled itself extremely well. Um, I think that this show is going to be the same. Three seasons tells its story exactly as well paced as it needs to be for the most part and does pretty much everything it needs to. <laughs> um, it, it's not a perfect series, no show is. Um, but it's like, it, it's really good. And I think it's really going to seal that. At least I hope it's really going to seal that with this last season. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know how this is going to end at all. I don't know what exactly is going to happen. Based on what we have seen in the first two seasons and everything, I assume Scarlemagne's probably going to help them take down Amelia. I, I, I kind of have to assume so. <laughs> um... As to, to what degree or what he does or how he helps, I don't know, but I assume that's going to happen. I assume Song is going to get restored. Um, I assume that mutes and humans are going to start living in harmony. You know, those kind of basic things that it's like, yeah, that kind of stuff can obviously be seen coming. But like the specifics or how they get there or what else happens, what big moments, it's like, yeah, I can't exactly expect or know what to expect there. So we'll just have to see. Um, but I am very excited. It sucks that we're in the final season, but we're going to enjoy it. And for now, we're going to do it one episode at a time. I, I, this was asked to me on the Discord, I believe, um, how many episodes we'd be doing, especially for this first week uh, back into it. For now, we're only going to do one episode at a time. The finale will probably be uh, the last two episodes together, 9 and 10. Um, but for now, we'll do one at a time. If anything changes, or if I really have any moment where it's like, oh, I need to see what happens next, then we can tackle that when we get to it. But I think one at a time for now is, is all that's needed. So, we're just going to get this started. Hope for the best and see how this season begins. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three two, one, now. It is good to be back. It is really good to be back to this series. I very much missed it. Um, I, I just genuinely really love this show. Um, definitely continuing off of last time, uh, we get right into it. So like We're told that for months now, they've been searching for Amelia and have been unable to find her. And that they're trying to get this um, alliance off the ground, trying to align the different tribes of mutes together in order to fight against Dr. Amelia, who is working on a cure for the mutes. Um, the alliance plans don't seem to be going off very well. They've had Jamak and the Otters going out doing these plays to try and drum up support, but it hasn't been working. And so they start hearing about all of the different uh, tribes having beef with each other. And it's like, oh, this tribe did this to us. They stole our friend and everything. They kidnapped our friend. And so she's trying to follow the tracks and figure out what exactly is happening. And all of it seems to be just kind of, you know, nothing really is happening until the Newton Wolves. Because they lost their centrifuge. And 
we find out that the Timbercats actually steal it. <laughs> For their spinning and yarn and shit. Um, but the kidnapped members of the other tribes are still unaccounted for. And by the end, we find out that it was Dr. Amelia kidnapping them. It wasn't a red herring, actually. That she was kidnapping them and that she's using them presumably as um, test subjects for her cure. So that's not good, obviously. Um, but we have a lot of good stuff in this. Um, there are definitely some parallels to reality with the... Uh, children of the tribes becoming friends while the parents are still fighting and all it's like oh yeah you, you could see what they're doing there you you can see <laughs> um there there are definitely parallels and i i think it's well handled um we see scarlamane in this episode he's he seems sore about still being captured and defeated and everything um, but he hasn't quite turned over a new leaf or anything. He's still being kind of a dick. <laughs> um, and he's telling Kipo that the only way they're going to get everyone to work together is if she uses the Jaguar to basically make them fear her. But she's obviously not going to do that. Um, and... Yeah, this episode doesn't entirely progress too much outside of just showing that Amelia is capturing these test subjects and everything. This one is more about setup. This is a setup episode that really just gets things started. It, it creates the idea of this alliance. It gives us our opening to the season, reacquaints us with the characters and the problems and the issues at hand, and is like, okay, we're going to start off slow. We're going to give you a little bit here, and then we're going to go from there. Now, there's 10 episodes this season, so I, I don't think it's going to take that long to really get off the chain. Um, especially since I've heard that uh, the next episode's supposed to be really good. Um, someone was That's why someone on, I, again, I think the Discord was asking me if I was doing the first two episodes in one go <laughs> um because it's like apparently it's their favorite episode or something or one of their favorites um but like i said i'm just doing one episode at a time here um and that doesn't necessarily mean it'll be one of my favorites i mean i don't know it's just kind of up in the air um but i'm excited to see it next week anyway <sighs> excuse me I'm just, I'm just enjoying this. I'm vibing with the series. I, I'm really excited to be back and hoping that it continues to be great. And like I said in the pre-thoughts, I'm hoping that it ends really well, that it gives us a satisfying conclusion and really just does everything it needs to. Um, I'm just wondering exactly how they're going to find Dr. Amelia, how they're going to uh, stop her, all of that jazz. All we really know at this moment is that she's apparently, from what they've gathered, out at sea. Um, and that's the reason they have been unable to find her. But we don't fully know the details behind that or anything, and we don't actually know if that's 100% true. We'll just have to find out. Um... So yeah, not too much to actually really discuss in this episode. Um, like I said, it was very much a setup episode. Just meant to, again, get us back into things, reacquaint us with the characters, the story, the basic events that are going down, and take it from there. So yeah, I very much enjoyed it though. Um, but tell me in the comments what you thought of this episode of Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts Season 3. And thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so yeah, for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.